We are going to go over to the world of our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and a managing director at Direction Chairs. And uh, volatility, metals, we have all sorts of deals out here. Dave Mazza, how you doing? I'm doing well. Happy to be back with you. I, I'm telling you, it's so great to have you back. And I, I want to start off with the uh, with last week. And the reason I do, you know, I, I always watch the, you know, the as money goes into the SPX S and SPX L in and out. And last week, <laughs> there was quite a shift, wasn't there? Yeah, no, I th what's really fascinating to me, and I've noticed uh, this um, for a few a few weeks now is that, you know, it took a little while, but we are now really seeing the action happen on the inverse funds. And so those are the bear products. Yes. And in particular, the ratio of SPXL and SPXS has gotten closer to parity. And by that, I mean, people are ex using the sh or go are, are going long to go short uh, in really an outright right way because S SPXS provides three times the inverse exposure of the S&P 500 on a daily basis. Right, no doubt. Now, I want to change gears on you for a second because we have a lot of action happening. And folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see the direction banner right there. Hit the banner, bring it up, and you're going to see all the different ETFs they have. And, you know, we've traded the Nugget, the J-Nug a lot, and we have, you know, gold running right now. So we want you to be aware of that because that, they're great vehicles. But now we have a new vehicle, and I want to, we want to talk to Dave about it. And the new vehicle, and this is really cool, Dave, because we get a lot of calls in the aluminum business, in the steel business, in the metal business in general. And they have a new ETF, folks, okay? Um, this has been around for, for a bit, but um, a few months. I think that's all it is. And, and what would, I'm talking about the, the daily metal miners, Dave. It, it's two times. I, I, was kinda, I was looking at the Holdens. So tell us about this. Yeah, so uh, MNN, that's two, a two times bull fund on, uh, we call it the metal miners. Um, yes. So, uh, yeah, as you know, um, and folks who, who are um, uh, on the audience here are, are likely familiar with, with Nugget and Dust, to your point, those are gold miners. And those are great because it's, you know, amplified exposure in a concentrated area. But as you noted a moment ago, there's all these other sort of metals that, that can have kind of different idiosyncratic um, returns and volatility. And, and that's why we thought kind of it was a gap um, in the lineup around not having something on that space. So this actually provides exposure more to steel and aluminum. Now there's a little bit of exposure to gold mining companies in here because some miners are doing copper and gold and all that. Sure, right. Time. But this is more of like your really industrial type metal play as opposed to um, the nugget and dust of the world, which again, are providing more pure play exposure to, uh, to gold miners. And the symbol again, folks, so you can check it out is M as in Mary and Nancy M. Mary. Uh, so check it out. Now let's go on to Nugget because we know, <laughs> and if you're not familiar with Nugget, folks, what, what Nugget is a two times um, of the uh, bottom line, the NYSE ARCA Miners Index. So, and when you're looking for something, you know, that bottom line the spreads across it, um, uh, you, get, you get a lot of good exposure. And I, it looks to me, Dave, that, you know, the bottom line, the dollar is pulling back pretty dramatically and gold and the markets can finally breathe. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. So uh, uh, these, the, our gold miners funds actually are, the suite were for, for a long time the largest funds in the direct, in directions leverage and inverse lineup. Um, as, as we know, miners have a lot of volatility. They have a high correlation uh, or inverse correlation, I should say, to the dollar, to interest rates. And of course, even though they're stocks, the relationship with the commodity itself. Sure. Uh, and then, you know, really in the last couple of years, as you know, everyone's gravitated towards trading the semis and the tech space uh, and, and other tech related names. But these funds have really come back in a big way because now we got some action um, happening again in, 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 the, in the commodity space. And what I think is interesting here is there's, you know, for traders, maybe some pent up demand, you know, because we didn't see didn't see that action. And you're you're absolutely right. The dollar had really been been just like it couldn't even it couldn't take a hit. Right. right? Um, because it was so strong, particularly relative to some, you know, some weaker economies. And now that we may may finally see inflation peaking, it's certainly not over, may finally see the interest rate environment still going up. 
um, but not necessarily at the pace it has been. It gives a little bit of a reprieve to um, uh, to, to gold as a commodity, and then of course the, the related mining stocks. No doubt. And listen, I really think you're onto something with that metals one too, because my, my take is this is almost like 2002 to 11. I think we got a commodity run happening, and you wouldn't. It, 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 well, I'm sure you you'll believe it because. The amount of calls that, you know, I had been getting prior to this, because gold's been a bummer. I mean, that's the bottom line. But I was getting calls that, no, the reason it's, that it's going down is that because everyone's buying Bitcoin. I'm saying to myself, oh, my God, because I'm not a Bitcoin deal. You know what I mean? But it was, it was pretty ironic that when those explosions happen on the downside, that's when gold takes off like a rocket ship. So it's going to be really interesting in the future to see that, okay, can I feel it, hold it? You know, is it backed? You know what I'm saying? So... It's been quite a ride. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely correct. And yeah, we obviously know what's going on with Bitcoin and uh, crypto these days. So yeah, totally. um, gold might be a, a real haven in this environment. Right. You got to stay on a regulated exchange, folks. That's the bottom line. You work hard for your money. Stay on a regulated exchange. Dave, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today. Thank you. Happy trading, everyone. Happy trading. That's a beautiful thing. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.